welcome to the fifth part of production order topic today we're going to learn about customizing activities for scheduling production order define scheduling parameters and define scheduling margin and also we'll talk about the planned cost of a production order so basically what we're going to learn today about the scheduling in a production order now in one of the previous uh, topic we already learned about scheduling if you look in the, one of the previous video we already seen about the scheduling uh, functionality in SAP PP but today's topic is more about just to brush up your um, memory with regards to scheduling and also how the schedule scheduling is directly linked to the production order in SAP production planning so business example you will define scheduling parameters for your order type and a scheduling margin key for your product in customizing. You will then test different scenarios for production order scheduling in the application. Scheduling in production planning. Now, as earlier in the, as I said in the previous video, we learned about that there are two types of scheduling. One is MRP and one is called lead time scheduling. So the main difference between uh, these two are with the MRP uh, material requirement planning, we the system will only plan for the basic dates. Basic dates are calculated and no capacity planning is done. However, in the case of lead time scheduling, the, uh, the all the uh, dates with for the production start date and, and the and the scheduling margin key and everything is taken into account for example uh, we define in the material master like floor before production floor after production so all the things are taken into account and the production dates not the basic dates but the final production dates uh, will be calculated so it will be finally calculating the final production dates or you can call it scheduling dates and this will this will also do the capacity planning so capacity will be planned as well so we already learned about this one before so i will not go into two details for now and we'll continue with the next topic now scheduling in production planning so as i just said like in with regards to scheduling especially when talk about the capacity planning system will be planning all the uh, the time and all the different setup that we have mentioned in the um, material master of mat uh, of material and the routing for example, in the routing, you can mention that we have seen earlier that you can mention the setup time for the routing operation, processing time, tear down time, wait time, and move time. So these times are also taken into account when you do the uh, capacity planning or the scheduling. Also the queue time. And also in the material master, you can set up things like float before production, float after production, and all that. So these are also taken into account when system is doing the capacity planning <clears throat> so we'll talk about the scheduling margin key as well in a minute scheduling setup processing and tear down time so basically if you remember that in the previous work center topic uh, where I've shown you how to create and set up the work center we have seen that in the work center we can set up the uh, different types of times for example setup time processing time and tear down time so basically to calculate the duration of the setup processing and tear down time you must define a capacity category to be used as a scheduling basis and formulas in the work center so basically what you need to do is to define the setup in the work center and these setup will be taken into account during the scheduling so let me show you this one again just to refresh your memory so in CR02 if you open any work center so if I have for plant thousand, if I open one work center here. So earlier I've shown you that in the capacity tab, you can create the capacity category. So capacity category can be a machine, can be a labor like that. And here what you do is you define the setup formula. So here you can link a setup formula, processing formula, tier down formula. So these formula or these setup time or the processing time will be taken into account during the uh, scheduling of a production order. So if a production order is using operation and operation using this work center then obviously this 
time setup will be taken into account for the scheduling so for example if it takes about say 20 minutes to set up this work center okay and you have defined the setup time in the work center then when the system will be calculating the will doing the scheduling and the capacity planning system will be considering that okay i need to allow 20 minutes just for the setup of operation number 10 or 20 wherever this work center is used and then capacity requirement in an operation so say same thing goes in the operation so on the basis of the standard value and other formula parameters formulas are used to calculate the capacity requirements per capacity category of an operation so in a simple word that whatever you have defined in the work center that will be used for the capacity requirement calculation so as i just said one system will be doing the capacity planning for a work center or for a for a for a use in a production order then system will be taking up these times that you have set up in the work center so these times can be your setup time your processing time tear down time and all that scheduling customizing so you can use this menu path and do the scheduling customizing and we have learned this one before as well but just quickly i show you again you can go through this menu path or you can use the transaction opu3 same thing so if i go to opu3 or as i said you can use this menu path and then here if you remember in the previous video i have shown you if i go to the plant um, thousand and in the previous video i have created this setup if you remember that for this plant and this is the production order that i created last time and if i go to the detail and here you can do the scheduling setting so basically the setting you do is like you want to do the backward scheduling or the forward scheduling and uh, you want to do the automatic scheduling and uh, the other thing is the reduction levels you can mention the the sixth level of reduction here like we learned in the previous video that how you want to the reduction to take into effect so you can make it only two levels or you can make six levels like that so these type of setup you can done uh, you can do here in this transaction and the most importantly is whenever you create a own order type like pp01 you copy from this order type and create your own z order type you need to make sure that you do this setup as well in the opu3 transaction so as i said you can use this menu path to go to the uh, customizing of the uh, of the defined scheduling or you can directly type opu3 and just to uh, show you like on the right hand side where my cursor is you can see you can see the transaction that i am i'm using opu3 here right you can click if you do not see on your screen <clears throat> then like not only this transaction any transaction that you use in SAP whether a customizing or a normal transaction you will you can see them here for any reason you can't see that here for example your cursor may be your setup can be using this one for example if you're using seeing something like this you can click here click on the transaction row and next time it will be showing you this transaction so for, for example if I create another transaction say or another any transaction say C01 to create the order so here at the bottom you can see that transaction so whatever transaction you're using it will show you on this corner here so that's the scheduling customizing now we'll talk about the scheduling margin so we have seen earlier that you can define a scheduling margin key in the customizing and that key is specific to a plant and and you can assign this one to your material master if i go to mm02 and open a material master pick any material so here you assign the scheduling margin key so basically you can define in the customizing that what will be the uh, time uh, float before production float after production and release period and all that <clears throat> so here we already discussed about this one before and uh, to refresh your memory you can press f1 here and see the detail about the four parameters that we're using here opening period float before production float after production and release period so the